Georgia Clay, baby. We've made it to Durumpton, Durhamville, Durham in town. <laughs> Actually, what is it called, Rick? Uh, Durhamville. <laughs> we've, said it, we've said it so many wrong ways on this 40 hour trip, I don't even remember what it's called. Okay, Durham Town. All right, Durham Town. Durham Town. Durham Town. Right, so uh, we weren't sure if we were going to make uh, a little ride with Garrett and friends or we were going to make a little detour to come up to Durhamville and we're in Durham Town. Uh, so yeah, what is I this mean, place? So it's uh, an off-road park. There's uh, some trails, there's some tracks, there's some uh, knickknacks. I mean, I think there's everything here. VP 110 fuel, we can that. Yeah. yeah, cool. Well, let's uh, go register and do whatever the hell we got to do. Heck yeah. Going to be tight. ITPs, huh? Probably the last time we're gonna see these things not covered in Georgia clay, baby. So I think you just come here, you register, uh -huh. and you rip. And I'm not. You just rip? Don't really know for sure. It, it appeared as if there was just places to ride everywhere. Yeah, this I think they have like nine or eleven or thirteen tracks or something like that. And tracks, it's gonna be sweet. There's some big hills coming in there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, 750. Whoa, I thought those were 700. Wrong, it's a problem. But anyway, so we had to get some 110 Why? because uh, we're tuned for higher than 90, which is all they have here. Tough break. I feel like we were just in this situation. Small gap, dude. We'll be off awesome. that. All right. Got a couple rep tires out here ripping. Oh, let's get that. It's pretty cool. Prius repellent. I like that. <laughs> the guy drives a bolt and he likes Prius repellent. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff ain't adding up down here in Georgia. Well, it's an American machine, dude. Anyway, about time to rip. So let's do it. Time to unload, dude. You know what's interesting about this? Race unit's going on the track, dude. Oh, you think so? Rick With this said. one? Yeah. Look at how big that track is. Pretty big. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. Anyway. We did put all of our luggage in there, so it's gonna take a second. But when the race unit fires up, that's when you know George is ready to go. Yep, they're ready to burn, dude. It's gonna warm this clay up in a sec, dude. Those Mastercrafts, dude, they have pretty much enough percentage to get on the track. 100. First time in Georgia clay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Sounds like a full like, like pro stock drag car out here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> He's wrestling it. <laughs> wow. That was a lot. Cool car. Cool car. All right, boys, we just uh, threw in some race fuel, Rick cast and uh, fixed the charge tube. That blew off during the burnout, no big deal. Hopefully that won't happen today. What else is going on? Uh, just gonna put that seat back in. Might have to do some harness adjustments because those don't fit great. Maybe I'll just send it anyways, who knows? And I'll get a Gatorade, maybe Mountain Dew. Put the seat back in, go get some gas, have a good time. Okay, we're going. I don't know where we're going, but we're going there. I think if we cross the road, we'll get into some main trails, we'll rip some stuff, and then uh, ideally we'll just happen by some traps and uh, we'll send them. It should be really cool.
awesome is that? These trails are sweet. boys we're cruising come across this flat track I say this I'm just gonna try this flat track out it's pretty much awesome give her a little run. absolutely I think it's got good grip must be in four-wheel maybe or maybe we found the one terrain where Roasted carnivores actually work. Who's to say, really? How'd you feel about that? This place, dude, this place is so wild. Just go from doing one thing to some completely cowboy thing like this flat track, man. The RS1, yeah, it was hauling out there. You in two-wheel? Yeah. Yeah, she was drifting. Yeah. I don't know if Doug's in two-wheel or not. Oh, maybe he is now. How fun is that? Heck yeah, man. That's a lot more fun than you think it's going to be. Yeah. Just basically drifting around. Was that two or four? That was four. Man, she grips good out there. Yeah. I was yeah. a little bit nervous about mine, of course. I wasn't sure how it was going to react, but. Yeah, no, it was very, uh, very controlled in four for sure. Like, I feel like I need it out here. This dirt's real hard. And in okay. two, it's very slippery. Yeah. Like, the rear end really likes to come around, especially because these are pretty burnt. So, I've been running pretty much four wheel drive everywhere. Yeah, I wasn't sure if, like, we found the one spot where these things actually work when I they're burned say, off. I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna flat track her or what, ah, bud? Yeah, you should give it a go. Listen, my brakes. They don't sound good. They're pretty much non-existent. They don't sound good. You know what's a good way to stop? Low gear. Just metal, put it right in metal, low. Metal on metal, baby. That's a good point. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> it's kind of scary because it's not like a perfect oval. Right. Right. Hold on, Dorifto. Right through the dust. Heck yeah. Look at that. Cool track. Real cool track, dude. How'd you feel about that? Dude, two wheel peel, baby. Good, that's really fun. Turns out having a track that's perfectly flat, low traction, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, you're not wrong. Well, All right, where are we going? Where are we going? I don't know, man. We'll just uh, keep cruising. I think there's, you know, there's plenty more trails we haven't hit yet. I think the green ones on the map are like the faster ones. Okay, seems. sweet. So we're gonna try to maybe find some more of those. Sweet. All right, we're out at the GP track. Rick's ripping the RS1. Oh yeah, apologize for the trees, but no real great line to see the whole track jump up the hill into a corner right there turn immediately heck yeah nice step down right there Ooh, the RS1 almost wheelies down that
<laughs> wow. Ooh, well, carnage. <laughs> carnage? We got carnage? Yeah, we're missing the entire fender. <laughs> oh, yeah, Rick, go back out there and get the fender. What the heck? Where's that fender at, dog? Oh. Where's the fender? <laughs> Oh, it turns out when you just hold it on with one clip, it doesn't last. Real tough break there. All right, I'll go find it. Anyway, uh, before you do that, wow, that track was awesome. Maybe the most fun driving I've done on a side-by-side. -side. Yep. That was, <laughs> it was awesome. That yep. was absolutely awesome. Yep. Track flows so well. All the jumps are just perfect. 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 They all throw absolutely perfectly. Yeah, the ones like in the it. back straight, you're like, oh. But then no, just choo. yeah. Those ones I was trying to push pretty hard. Yeah, <laughs> those first those first three big ones you can just absolutely yeah. send as yeah. fast as you want to yeah. go. Yeah, that is just whoo. Listen, this place, dude, between the trails and that track, and we've only ridden. I mean, maybe two percent of this. This is the best riding experience I think I've ever had. Yeah, this, this place is next amazing, level. Amazing, dude. A lot of tough breaks. Super tight. Yeah. Nick's radiator's caked full of mud. Still caked full of mud. Uh, okay. Dude, I sat there and washed it, but I guess I didn't realize I'm washing the heat exchanger, not the radiator. Yeah. So could have done a better job there. Mine's overheating despite literally washing it five times. And uh, man, I got a, a loose suspension component out back that's just making the driving experience not great. But otherwise, how's the CF1? Uh, you can tell out there, I mean, it started off good, but it's getting heat soaked. Pretty oh tall. yeah. It's starting yeah. to pull some timing back, yeah. so. Probably let her cool down for a little bit after I get that fender, but man, yeah, you can, every place we've been so far in this setup here, I mean, this thing has just been ripping, like in those tight trails, as soon as you feel it come into boost, it's like just creeping up on the guy behind you, so yep. he just wants to fly. And then out here, yeah, it was absolutely incredible initially. And I think she's just getting a- Did you touch it? Warm. Did you see how warm she's she is? Toasty. Supposed to be the incoming side, so, oof, outgoing side, oof. Yeah, that's hot. She's heat soaked. This center cooler setup's not the best. Maybe we'll get a bigger one. Anyway, having said that, wow, Georgia, Durham Town, freaking unbelievable. Super worth it. Yeah. Super worth it already. Yeah. Maybe we creep back up front of the lodge. I know they got customer uh, pressure washers out there. Maybe we can attempt to get your yeah, radiator cleaned out a little bit. bit so we can come out and rip some more. But yeah. gosh dang, this is super cool. This is top, a great place. Top 10, dude. Like, yeah. I think top five. Instantly dude. top five so good yeah yep. it's it's like it's uh the experience is similar to like a like a glamis dune when you're out here because the you have so many positional changes and you're just getting little jumps yeah. that you can hit fast yep. yeah the transitions are perfect like a little hop into a corner just a, it's you just got to come experience it yeah if you're anywhere yeah. near like this would be the place to go yeah. super fun super fun too good all right well let's see if we can get these things cleaned out and get the freaking cf1 fender <laughs> I, I think it was on the car when we left so yeah, it's got to no, be out there Rick, sure dude, didn't fly off down the road. No, that I think was we would have we would have seen that. You just change the wheels. That was on there. It's either out there or in a trail somewhere. Who's it's in a trail. It's done. If it's out there, we can get it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see it out there. I'll make another slow lap and see if I can find it. But <laughs> it's not out there. I'm pulling the other one off so it matches. Don't <laughs> <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. comes the step up. Nice. Leo's driving in thick dust, unfortunately. A few moments later. Are you okay? Hey, how you doing? Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Uh, you know, came into the brakes a little bit hard there and got a little sideways and over she went. You want to hop out? You want to try me? Try to flip you over? I'll get out. <laughs> so I was just chasing you with the uh, XRS DS. Turns out RS1 out here is untouchable. <laughs> good machine. When you... Not as good of a machine tipped over. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, <laughs> when I came up to you, I saw the branches, and I thought, well, either he's not talking because his neck's impaled by a branch, and we just lost risk Aston, or you're just waiting for this moment. Yeah, I was just waiting for it. I mean, real tough break. Just came in a little too hot, you know. It's the best of everybody, or sometimes the worst of everyone. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, she's good to go. I mean, you lost the one fender, you ruined this fender. Screw it. I told you I was trying to make it match. <laughs> Didn't know this was going to be the way to do it. <laughs> oh, the front end's pretty gacked, huh? Uh, I mean, that hood was pretty... Worked out from Does it just need all new plastics? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think, honestly, it's okay other than the, the plastic. This plastic was already messed up from a previous occurrence, so... I can no longer use one thing I had. Yeah, I'm not out here the one rolling machines. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> wrecking the stuff. Uh, uh. Turns out, just one of the clowns. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even bend the cage, it doesn't look like to me. I don't yeah. think it even hit the cage, man. I think it's good to go. <laughs> that fender took most of the brunt. I think it was really slow. <laughs> it was slow. pretty slow. Yeah, 100% was really slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, she's going to rip some more. This track's too fun, man. TS versus TS there. battle, dude. Go out there and rip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dougie and Nick going out. out there boys man tandem uh, side by siding dude how the cool was that everybody's doing it dude it was very very fun yeah. like i could have kept putting in laps because yeah. it takes an already fun track and then it just forces you to have a little bit more you know control yeah. and concentration on what you're doing but when you're trying to match speed and ride tandem and you hit a jump perfect and the guy next to you is just flying perfect like it's <laughs> super cool it's so cool yeah. sounds pretty awesome yeah. overall yeah. that was uh that was really fun coming around out of the corners too like kind of matching like i could just hear his exhaust so i kind of know how deep to get into it mm -hmm. and like going back and forth it was really this place is something else like yep. it is something else man it's pretty rare to have a track that you just you know or a place like this where you have multiple tracks you pay some money and then you just rip them yeah. as much as you want yeah. right you know you go to other tracks they have practice days right it's done in a much more controlled manner you have time slots yada yada there's things you can do things you can't do out here you just hammer down if you yeah. want to drive a thousand laps you just drive a thousand laps yeah, yeah. track's totally open yeah, yeah. track's totally yours no that is fun that is very fun perfect layout too for a track like anybody could drive this safely and like not you know it's intimidating because it's so big and there's but like anyone can drive this is so good you don't need to be an expert driver to come out and hit the jumps a little bit and hit the corners and have a really good time there's nothing that you have to commit to in any crazy way you know it's really dude durham great. town dude durham town durham bill <laughs> durhamton yeah. well next oof. level I don't know what to do. I mean, should we ride more stuff? Probably. Do I want to just keep making laps on this track? <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a great track. Uh, yeah. Brothers, so we've made our way to what's known as the fast track. We all made a lap around it. We parked. Nick is now on lap number three because it's just that freaking good, dude. Yeah.
Lap number three, how was that? That's, uh, man, that's, gosh. Let me think about it. Probably the best trail I've ever been on. Yeah. 100%, dude. Every trailer on here is, is already better than most of the stuff we have. But they're not as long, right? So you're not like, I'm gonna go to friggin' St. Helen to Houghton Lake, but like in terms of fun, Yep. And being directional, huge thing. Huge. You can just light it up as fast as you want, dude. Yeah, like you can go for a nice cruise yeah. and enjoy it, and it's a nice smooth trail, but yep. you can also go hard and just get air constantly, not worry right. about oncoming traffic, really test your driving ability, like, and it'll test you, I mean. 100%, like this trail, I wonder, like they say fast track, I don't think they time it, but like this would be a really cool, like timed, like a, like a, like a rally you know super cool for that yep but dude this is great this place is great like you could spend a ton a ton a ton of time here i mean yeah we found this one cool little trail we're right. basically sitting here making laps because of how much fun it is <laughs> it's so. that good so there's one section like this back this way where there's three jumps in a row it's not the one with the step down but there's three jumps just in the woods and if you aim right like you can send all three of them pretty darn big dude. Yep. i lost a water bottle so i have to go back and get it but like, <laughs> yeah right it was like this water bottle was floating and i'm like oh god no <laughs> just fall back down durham town's gonna be pissed but, oh anyway. man no this is awesome man seuss just went out for another lap so it's worth it it's yep. worth it it's so good heck yeah dude like just like the gp track we could be here all day yep absolutely absolutely <laughs> really good turns out most of that trail i couldn't see the first time yeah no i imagine wow. being able to see makes it uh, that much more enjoyable Woo. well that's a great track man like that is so fun yep 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 think you're gonna go for another uh rick rip yeah i'd like to check it out okay without okay. dust vision <laughs> talk about the perfect car for this track. perfect man Super short wheelbase, good throttle response, good torque for you know bunny hopping all those little jumps. Alright, that like, thing takes jumps so flat. Yeah. That thing was made to be out here. <laughs> Look at that boy. Woo. Big hole right there. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, she did good. One more. Oh no. He's gone. <laughs> there I mean, goes my ride. Understandably. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> fire whips are great too. Check out firewhips.com and use code uh, side by side blog to get 10% off your fire whip order. Yeah, your he's actually. Is on a next, on another level like, is right it now. red? A red stash? <laughs> What's wrong with it? Oh, it's just a good mustache. No, I think he's see. really serious. Guys looks normal. <laughs> oh my God. Looks like, it looks like I'm bloody, dude. This is crazy. Yeah. Anyway, right. This is the right tool for the job out here, man. Yeah, you no know, joke. Those things are great. Rick's got one wrapped around his face as a dust mask. They're that versatile. That's how you, do it. <laughs> you can shower with them. Have done it many times. Many times, especially out in Baja. Anyway. Whew. All right. You guys, you want to RS1 next? Maybe just you, Doug? I'm going to RS. No, yeah, I'm going to RS1 it around there for yeah. sure. See what's up on that. Smart. You know. Yeah. Well, shockingly, the CF1 is holding up. This is a pro-built machine. It's not called really. a CF1, though. Right. I mean, cobble. You guys know what that is. So yeah. Doug's gonna take it out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to driving this thing through here, man. I think it's gonna be the perfect unit for this trail.
Look at that boy. Oh my God. I've never seen a closer thing. That was full close. Out the cowboy and everybody. Big facts. Big facts. Big big facts. How's the far away dust mask going? I mean, it's holding up pretty good. Pretty impressed with that overall. Five crashes at the Silver Lake Sand Dunes. Oof. You guys got to take it easy. You got to take it easy out there. <laughs> How was that, buddy? I don't know if I've had a better driving experience than this machine in that trail. Really? Uh, is this thing the best or is it the best? In I mean, all the time we've ridden in all the trails and all the great machines, like that just, I don't know. There's something about that experience that is hmm. it, man. A1. A1. Huh. Like I love my Turbo S out here, killing it. But this thing is just like, they, that trail and this machine were meant for each other. Unreal. Together. Whoo! I, I think yeah, I'm I gonna have to try this. Thing. I could just yeah. make laps. Yeah. Overall, I think we need to get our hands on this. this All day. Well, who goes All first? Day. Total, yeah. total at Seuss or <laughs> loser <laughs> Leonard? Seuss. Uh, you can go, man. No, man, you go. No, you're all set. No, you go. Man. I'm all set. You're all set, dude. No, you're all set, man. You're all set to go. Just go, dude. <laughs> okay. The more time you spend in this, the more, like Doug was saying, dude, it's pretty incredible. All right, so we all just... positioning, dude, and then like the ability yeah. to just bunny hop over everything, mm -hmm. and then how freaking fast it cut, like, it just explodes. Yep. It absolutely explodes. And then you got just the uniqueness of the experience, yeah. too, because it's unlike anything you've driven before with the center seating and the open wheels, like the whole thing is, you know, adds up to like something that. really different. Like you have to like that first lap. It was just like getting back, getting used to being back in the RS1 again. Like understanding how it drives, because it. I mean, you think oh, it's the center of gravity it drives, but no, it's just it, like this. You have so much more going on. You have to focus on this. You literally just focus on the steering wheel and those two front tires, and you're done. Like it's so good. All right, let's just all build turbo RS1s you for each other. You even created the best damn machine known to man, dude. <laughs> Frick. It's way more useful. The power is way more useful on the trail, though, than I imagined. Yeah. Like, it's like it's having. It's actually nice yeah, having it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's there. It's always there, just hiding in the background, just waiting for that perfect little situation where you could just. Blah, and it just explodes. <laughs> That's right. Especially blah. on the back end of this trail. Like, up here, you can't really get into it too much. Once you get into the hopping, dude, like that one, I swear I launched from like here to there, dude, I was flying. From here to there. Oof. Got it. I go long ways. <laughs> well, boys, that's dusty Durham town for you. Basically, no way we don't leave here without hitching drive stuff. Does the light actually work? You want to make it look like every part of your car is rusting this is the place to go also if you enjoy great riding 
in many different tracks along with a lot of other great features. This is, yeah, instantly one of my favorite places to ride, man. Just an absolute great day here. I mean, between the tracks and the just spectacular trails, the directional traffic, the maps, the lodging, the power washer, you got the shop right there, you got mechanical equipment. Like, I mean, it's a really, really well set up place. Yeah, they got the operation down pat. It feels yeah. like it's been here a while, but the trails don't seem old. Like, they're not whopped out, yeah. they're smooth. Like, they're good. Really, there, yeah, really well groomed. I mean, we didn't really, there wasn't a single section of whoops that I remember. No, you know? no, just those little jumps, which yeah. were a freaking blast, yeah, dude. Those were great. Really a nice dynamic to have. Right. What we're used to. So, Durhamton, Durhamville, Durham Town, what do you think, buddy? I don't think I've ever had more fun than an actual, like, like riding area yeah like anywhere that was i could i was telling them like i could spend the entire day in just those trails those trails are yeah. so good yep and like he was saying the direction to find one directional trail it's next that's, level it's where it should have been yeah yeah no that's a really really cool thing and made riding not stressful at all you no. just able to go out there and rip have a good time yep Whew, we get to watch these people rip yeah. over here too man this is good i guess a lot of good bike riders out here for yeah. Monday. <laughs> Maybe not that one in particular, but anyway. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we have to load these things up and we have to go home because there's a lot of stuff to do back there. So we got a lot of shop work coming. We've got 2JP that's going to be finished up very soon. We've got stuff coming for X3s. We've got stuff there for the CF1. So yep. a lot going on in the next period of time. We've got a uh, Silver Lake trip, actually a couple Silver Lake trips planned in the very near future, which are both going to be very cool and just uh, you know, continuing to line up a lot of cool stuff for the rest of the summer. So right. thank you guys as always for being here. We really, really appreciate you. This has been an epic trip you know, between uh, Cletus's burnout rivals and all that stuff, which was just absolutely crazy. Durham Town was absolutely awesome, would recommend. So yeah, thank you guys again for everybody who subscribes and buys the parts from Rick on the parts site, who's donating on Patreon. You guys are absolutely killing it. We can't thank you enough. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider do that, doing that because this is just going to continue to escalate here. We got a lot of good stuff for you. These guys eventually are going to kill each other, and you won't want to miss that. So. I mean, 100%, dude, someone's going to knock someone out. Oh, my God. Also Rick's fault. Off camera, Rick just hit my glasses with a rock. No, that was on camera. <laughs> on camera, Rick just hit him with a rock. I'll Luckily, he's got a lot of treats in the back seat, dude. This guy hoards all the treats in the back seat. <laughs> Might look dumb, turns out. Not a complete idiot. <laughs> right, so we got about a 15-hour uh, ride home. A little bit tonight, a little bit tomorrow. And we'll see you guys back at the shop. Ready for it? Sounds good. Bye. See you. Where are we going? Shop. No, what's that? Restaurant? Oh, we're going to friggin' uh, Bocephus, dude. <laughs> Turn it out, Bangaloids, dude. <laughs> you might have heard of They sell chicken down here. Apparently, it's a big deal. Uh, Bojangles, dude. People have been talking about yeah, it. Yeah, Bangaloids, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are idiots. Here comes RF flying. Guys, cooking. Look at that sucker.